Protecting the forest from fire is one of a forester's greatest responsibilities. This is an interview of Virginia Vincent at her home in Missoula, Montana, March 4, 1986, about her experiences working on a lookout for the Forest Service. For the last 16 years, I have manned one or another lookout. The very first time year that I was on Stark Mountain, which is in the nine mile drainage northwest of Missoula, went up on a lovely late June Sunday, sunny and very pleasant, and got my food and hauled up the two flights of steps and more or less settled, went to bed and awoke the next morning to two inches of snow. What time of year was this? About June 28th. Can you tell me some of your experiences at the first few years? Or anything, anything memorable that you really remember? Well, for one thing, the first three years I was on Stark Mountain, the forest um, had what was called a semi-automatic repeater radio, which was in use on Stark Mountain. And people would call me and say, please turn it on. But it was such that I did not hear general chatter on the forest. Then after that, um, I was given the channel that I could hear all the rest of the uh, traffic. And that started getting interesting um, to hear people comparing notes. We had one fellow wanted to know what to do with huckleberries and we tried to tell him make pie and or put them in muffins or uh, cake or whatever but I much of our lookout work is humdrum you what is the typical day like presently the last few years, we worked an eight-hour day from like 9.30 in the morning till 6 in the evening. And you don't have to stare out the window for hours and hours. Uh, you get into the habit of looking up maybe every 10, 12 minutes and glancing around. And after your first year or so, you have learned the landmarks and what smoke looks like what to expect. You learn where they're logging so that if heavy equipment throws up exhaust, you watch a little longer but realize that's what's doing it. Um, you can take your radio down if you wanted to walk a little bit so long as you can still see your um, area. And we have half hour for lunch, and often at that time I would go down, stretch my legs, so to speak. While I'm in the tower, I work at um, handcrafts, or I've indexed quite a few local histories, far service histories. Um, you can work on sewing or painting, and usually you get to refinish the lookout, because they get very weathered just so long as you're there to answer the radio and keep an eye out, um, especially late in the afternoon during the heat of the day. And then the evening is a good time to go for a hike out on the ridges or down to your spring. So the secret of enjoying the summer is to have lots of little things to do.